This short video is to show students at the University of Baltimore School of Law how to download the Extegrity exam software from exam 4. In order to take your exam, you must download the software from uh, Extegrity. So um, you would point your browser to www.exam com, which will take you to the exam for software page. On this page you would select for law schools and rather than scrolling completely through the the list of law schools here select M for Maryland and UB is the first listed school. Click on that. You can, you're next asked uh, to sign the license agreement by typing in your name. Your email address. and selecting the type of software that you wish to download. At UB the systems mainly run Windows XP so that's the one I'm going to select and then I submit my form and then I come to the screen that gives me the instructions for how to download the software and I click on the li link click here to download and I click save the file. In some instances you'll be asked whether you want to run the file and that's perfectly fine. You can go ahead and run it. Which is what I'm doing in this instance. Now I've come to the main Extegrity exam software page and I'm going to now you'll notice that it, it has created an icon with the big red E on my desktop and that is the Extegrity software icon. So when you're ready to take the exam first log on to the UB network uh, with your network ID and password and then go ahead and open up the software when you're beginning to take the exam click on prepare to start a new exam and click next you're then asked to enter your exam ID number which you can find on the student portal page under grades for the purposes of this exercise I'm going to just enter one two three and they want you to re-enter the same number you're then asked to choose the course from a course list and uh, for purposes and you should uh, when you're first using the software click on practice exam also it should be noted that if you've taken um, a midterm using the exam software you should go back to the Extegrity site and download the new finals software because it'll include all the courses that were added and it also has some some bug fixes from the, the earlier software. Once you've entered your exam ID number and password 
exam ID number and course name, click on Next, which will take you to the exam time and font size. It is We're recommending that you leave the exam countdown timer at zero hours and zero minutes and do not put um, a, an alert in at all and to leave it at standard font and click next. This screen uh, is mainly for those people who get a security uh, error message when the exam software does a security check. You would enter that that number here where it says enter violation number. If you did not get one of those numbers um, or if this is the first time you're taking the exam just click got it and click next. Because the exam software locks down your your laptop or, or MacBook and uh, won't allow you to access any files on it, all exams taken on with this exam software are closed. So at this screen, you type in the word closed, which then opens up this little box here. Click on that, and then click next. This is the screen where you're supposed to wait. Um, it, it tells you your exam ID number and the course that you're taking it with. And then when the proctor tells you you can begin your exam, click begin exam. After your computer passes its security check, you then come to the screen where it will allow you to take your exam. And feel free to get rid of the answer to question one here. if. Uh, you'd like to begin answering a different question or um, you, you just want to label it differently. And, and You'll notice at the top there's a toolbar menu and if you need to uh, change fonts or whatever or uh, boldface type to set off your answer you can do that from the toolbar menu at the top. When you're finished with the exam and you want to submit it you click end exam at that toolbar menu on the top and it asks whether you're sure you really want to do that. Put the little check mark in that little box and click OK to end exam. And you must, at the University of Baltimore, submit your exam electronically. We do not accept USB keys or floppy drives. So at this point, you click Submit Electronically. And it lets you know that your file has been serve, uh, stored on the server, it, which means that it was submitted successfully. And you click OK and it then gives you an electronic receipt which I would um, write down the file name of your exam. Um, at this point you click in under the I, ex I understand checkbox and then click OK and your exam is done. If you have any problems doing an elect a practice exam please see Sean Farmer, or um, whose office is on the fourth floor of the law library, office number 418. Or you can send him an email message at sfarmer at ubalt.edu and tell him what your problem is, and he'll get back to you with an answer. And then at this point, you want to exit the exam and then it'll asks you 
whether you're sure and you do and that's it